There's a new smartphone supported by Yola and Selfish OS and this is this one here. No, this is not the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II. This is the 10 Mark III. And to prove to you that it is running Selfish OS, here you can see it running in its brand new version 4.4.0.64 with experimental VOLTE support. So voice over LTE is built in, at least as a beta version. Anyway, what is new here on this one? Let's take a look and let's get started. So here we have the device in uh, the white uh, version, as you can see here. And here, as a comparison, the 10 Mark II in its black version. And when we compare them side by side, they are almost identical. There's not much of a difference. So we still have a headphone jack here on the top. We still have the triple lens setup on the back. We still have USB type C here, and we still have a front facing firing speaker basically the same as on the 10 Mark II. The only difference that you will notice immediately when running uh, this 10 Mark III is that the haptic feedback is slightly different here, a bit stronger on the 10 Mark III by default. And when you are playing back some video files, just like play something back from YouTube here, uh, like this advertisement video, for example, is we only have a mono speaker here. Now, some people say, oh, we only had a mono speaker on the 10 Mark II as well. But Selfish OS made it possible to use also the loudspeaker on the top and the bottom to get like some kind of stereo effect that you don't have here on the 10 Mark III for some reason. So this is some kind of limitation, but you will also notice is it's super, super fluid here on the 10 Mark III. So the whole operating system is running super, super fluid. Here on the 10 Mark II, it is always a bit stuttery and you have some frame drops. You don't have this here on the 10 Mark III. So the operating system is not, I think, improved in this case. It's just simply the hardware is more powerful that allows you to run everything nice and smooth. So the web browser is also running nice and smooth. And I can take a look at Reddit here what's new and yeah so this is working nice and fast but now let's come to some negative parts here besides uh, the yeah not stereo sound anymore what we'll have here is uh, camera limitations so <laughs> i was a little, little bit shocked first of all we don't have any uh, camera option for switching the camera lenses because it's not yeah, possible right now because the API has changed. So they're new using the new API 2, I think. And uh, the API 1, the Google API for cameras is not working. The other thing is like the filters that were added to Selfish OS are not working at all. So you can see whatever I choose here, it is not working at all. Probably for the same reason. Not sure why it is enabled here on the 10 Mark III then uh, because it's not working at all, which is a bit of a bummer, I will have to say when it comes to this. Uh, everything else is working fine. So it's a 64-bit operating system. Everything is working fine. I installed pat patch manager already to get my large spaces bar. Otherwise I get insane uh, typing so much uh, dots instead of spaces. Uh, storage wise, I installed some applications already, but usually you have 2.2 gigabytes free. So Yola did not address this issue of not enough system data. They're not resizing it. So you have to do it on your own if you want to do it. Um, what else can I say? The volatility support, I have to say, I did not see an option to enable it here for my device. Maybe I have to go somewhere to enable it. It could be also that my SIM card is not supporting it. Uh, unknown SIM card is written there for some reason, but it is supported as it's, as it's connected here to my um, location uh, or in my location. Location service is interesting enough. Device only mode I have enabled. It's working fine out of the box. So it's directly getting my location here without any issues. So let's go and where do I have my maps? Uh, let's do pure maps here. And it's relatively quickly finding out where I'm located, 
which is pretty accurate as well, which I was like shocked a little bit. So if you want to know where I live, I live in Cologne somewhere there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so this is working fine. Uh, the gestures are having sometimes some issues, like for example, this swipe down is working, this swipe down sometimes it's not working, as you can see here. So there are some issues with, with uh, swipe gestures still here and there, but overall the experience is good. I like the fluidity of the device, especially running certain applications and uh, the uh, stores are working fine as well. And it's very quick in also getting stuff from the internet. So Wi-Fi is working fine. And also the internet uh, via the mobile internet is also working fine. Internet sharing, uh, VPN is working fine. Uh, location, like I said, is working fine. Uh, I didn't try out Bluetooth yet. NFC is working fine as well. If you have enabled, you have even the option to uh, have this secure simple sharing uh, pairing which is also possible. And of course, the fingerprint uh, is working fine so far. Sometimes if you have it like, what I noticed is if you have it like in your pocket for a few hours, what happens is that when you hold here, nothing will happen on the display. So you have to press, then the lock screen comes and then you can unlock. So this is possible uh, without issues then. So if you have some issues with uh, the fingerprint, this is the solution. Uh, if you have it like uh, in your pocket for too long. The other thing that I noticed is, and you will also notice battery. Battery life is amazing here on this device. It's amazing on Android already, but on Selfish OS it's also amazing in contrast to the 10 Mark II, which was amazing on Android, but was a real downfall on Selfish OS for like eating up the battery very quickly. But here we have a large enough battery, so this would not be an issue. So overall, what can I say? Can I recommend the 10 Mark III or the 10 Mark II. For now, I really have to say, yeah, I like the fluidity of the 10 Mark III and uh, it's a great, great device. But when it comes to camera features, I will show you a camera sample as well. This is a little test with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark III running with Selfish OS. And this is the camera test recording with an external microphone that you can see here because it is supported on Selfish OS to record with an external microphone. What you notice immediately maybe is that this is only 1080p 30 frames per second. Yola still in the camera app doesn't allow to switch resolution or frame rate. When I start moving, what you will notice is that there is no image stabilization, no electronic image stabilization. Sony usually have, has very good image stabilization. And if you notice me moving around, the exposure is also changing a little bit, but my face is nicely exposed. This is a very cool feature of Selfish OS because if I go here and have now the bright background here, my face is not getting dark. It's still nicely exposed, but we will get overexposure in the background. And if I move around too much, of course, the stabilization is not the best. I have a selfie stick here to get a bit of ninja walk uh, going. So the stabilization is not too worse, but this is still an issue. And by the way, if you want to know how I got self address installed on the Xperia 10 Mark III, basically click one of the cards there or the links down in the description. I already showed you how to do this on the 10 Mark II and basic steps are the same on the 10 Mark III as well. The only thing you have to do is choose on the Sony website to unlock the 10 Mark III instead of the 10 Mark II. That's basically it. So what do you think about the video quality of the Xperia 10 Mark III? running Selfish OS, could it be something where you could use this as a vlogging tool? I personally have to say it's very hard because some convenience features, just like pressing the volume button to start and stop the recording, are missing here. And maybe in the future, Yola could update the camera application to include such features as well, to add a little bit more of polish into the camera application itself because for now it looks very, very basic and like a demo application as like a proof of concept that video recording on Selfish OS is possible, but it's not looking too great when it comes to using it as a vlogging tool, for example. Some things are still missing there and electronic image stabilization would be cool, even though it does not need to be baked in when I'm recording. It could be also added in post-production eventually that could also help 
in terms of stabilization what do you think um i don't like that the the, the speakers are not now fully utilized here which was possible on 10 mark 2 but it's not on the 10 mark 3 apparently and there are some issues still like the camera i like to use all the free camera sensors here because sometimes you want to zoom in sometimes you want to have the ultra wide angle and it's not possible at all on the 10 mark 3 and it has nothing to do with the default camera application also advanced camera doesn't have this ability because it needs to be changed in the api so this is like a downfall for me for the 10 mark 3 otherwise i would just take the 10 mark 3 but for now i can only recommend then the 10 mark 2 uh, for the better safer shares experience overall because you have stereo speakers you have all the free camera lenses that are supported which is sadly for the 10 mark 3 not right now if you are experimenting and if you don't want to buy the old device or cannot find it then of course get the newer device and you get i think a discount code now because uh, the successor the 10 mark 4 is coming out pretty soon so there should be no issue with getting a discount for this one and yeah as a device that can definitely progress and hopefully with the next update all the cameras will work and maybe we get stereo speakers as well then it would be a full recommendation because it's 10 times better than the 10 mark ii in performance and in battery life so this is my conclusion for this short little video what do you think do you have one of those devices what is your experience with safe address on the sony xperia 10 mark 2 or 10 mark 3 write it down in the comment section that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye